today we are doing a carbonation experiment. Carbonation is a phenomenon in which carbon dioxide gas is suspended in water creating small bubbles. This phenomenon is what makes soft drinks bubbly and fizzy, which many people enjoy. We are here today to see how much fizz or carbonation is in the following pops. Coke, Diet Coke, Dr. Pepper, and Sprite. A very, so let's get to work. A very popular experiment done by the Miss Butters themselves was the Diet Coke and Mentos experiment. We all know the outcome of that one. And we know that Diet Coke was specifically chosen for that experiment. So we predict that Diet Coke has the most carbonation. And we will turn to our drawing. Our experiment will be to shake each bottle for the same amount of time and let the balloon fill up with carbon dioxide. The size of the balloon indicates more carbon dioxide. To determine exactly which one has the most, we will measure the length and width of each and take the averages of each and compare. This will tell us which pop has the most carbon dioxide. First, you'll start with Coke. Go, 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 go
Standing in a row Big one, small one Some as big as your head Give him a twist, a flick of the wrist That's what the showman says Oh, I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts Every ball you throw will make me rich There stands me wife The idol of me life Sing and roll a bowl, a bowl, a penny a pig Sing and roll a bowl, a bowl, a penny a pig Sing and roll a bowl, a bowl, a penny a pitch. Roll a bowl, a ball. Roll a bowl, a ball. Sing and roll a bowl, a bowl, a penny a pitch, a pitch, a pitch. And we took the measurements and the averages, the lengths, and put the averages on a data table. And this clearly shows that we found that Diet Coke has the most, and that clearly it will be the most carbonation. Here's the two widths, the average, and you add these two up, divide by two, which gives you the averages for each of them. So it goes to show that Diet Coke has the most carbonation. Some errors might have been the expiration dates differing leading to the carbonation, to less carbonation, human errors in measuring the length of width, and only performing one trial due to financial setbacks. We chose the myth was validated by the evidence shown in our experiment. Clearly shows that Diet Coke has the most carbonation and is proven by the Diet Coke versus Mentos experiment. As shown, the largest balloon indicated the most carbonation, and with the measurements demonstrated a clear understanding of the POP experiment. We had a great time, and we hope you did too. Goodbye, and stay bubbly!